So a bunch of scientists arrive and start an ecological study, which is the answer, but what did they find? And why did it happen in the first place? That's where things get very interesting. So this is a video of what people call a reindeer cyclone. It was recorded in Russia near the Arctic Circle. A couple of questions right off the bat. Why are they doing this? Spinning around in a little reindeer tornado. Well, like a lot of things, we don't know the exact answer, but we have some good theories. When reindeer herd in a group, it's very chaotic. It's confusing. It's very difficult for a predator or hunter to pick out an individual to attack. So they're safer if they herd together because it confuses their attackers. This is also one of the reasons why we think fish form schools. How do I pick out one when there's so many just jumbling around? So that might be why reindeer herd, but herds can be in a lot of different types of shapes and they're not always cyclones like this. So what's going on? There are two theories. The first theory is to protect their young, just like musk oxen. When a group of musk oxen are threatened, they arrange themselves in a nice little circle with their horns facing outward. The neat thing here is they keep the young oxen in the middle of the herd, inside the circle. They form a protective ring around their most vulnerable members to keep them safe. And people think the same thing might be happening here. The youngest reindeer are being protected in the middle of that cyclone. That's the first cyclone theory, that they're protecting their young. So let's move on to the second theory that quite honestly doesn't give the reindeer as much credit as the first. <laughs> this might just be a very interesting accident. So when reindeer herd together, it's quite possible that they could fall into the mental trap of follow the reindeer in front of me no matter what. So imagine what were to happen if you have a herd of reindeer then and for whatever reason it kind of curved in on itself and then the reindeer in the front here caught a glimpse of the reindeer over here and then they just started following those reindeer and then you kind of just get a loop in a circle. Here's an example of exactly that happening. This is a car in Russia that's trapped by a bunch of sheep perpetually herding in an endless circle. So it could happen. So whether to protect their young or just because they're just kind of mindlessly herding, the reindeer are forming a, a circle cyclone. So now imagine the situation where a storm comes around and lightning strikes that cyclone. What's gonna happen? Well, this did happen in 2016 in Hardinger Vita National Park in Norway. So over 300 reindeer were grouped in an area as a storm raged around them. When suddenly, lightning struck, essentially electrifying the ground and triggering instantaneous cardiac arrest in all of the reindeer that were there. 323 reindeer passed away. After this happened, researchers kept close watch on the site. And what followed was something that you might not expect. So everything was pretty much left there. They left everything in place. And first, naturally, the scavengers arrived. You had some mammals like foxes and wolverines start to frequent the area, and some birds too, like ravens, crows, and eagles. They say there's an interesting bloom of insects that were also feeding on the carcasses. And all these animals were bringing something extremely important and key into the area. Poop. And inside that poop, there were a lot of seeds, specifically crowberry seeds. Crowberry are flowering plants that make these bluish black fruits. And the crowberry is a keystone species for the area. A keystone species is just a species that a lot of food webs and organisms depend on in this area. It's a good thing if it's around. So crowberry, one of the most important plant species in the entire area, began growing in the very spots where those reindeer were decomposing. So in a very interesting twist of events, in a place that was plagued with so much death, suddenly there was created a place that fostered life. How poetic. And it all came from a reindeer cyclone that was just freaking zapped with lightning. That's wild. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I wanted to talk about today. See you guys tomorrow.